Dear friends, in this video, we will discuss some important points of animal poison. It comes under organic irritant group. So, let's start the video. First is snake. Ophitoxemia is snake bite poisoning. So, for snake bite poisoning, the term is Ophitoxemia. Snake is classified into three groups, elapids, vipers and sea snakes. So, elapidi includes cobra, king cobra, crate and coral snakes. And viperidi includes russell viper, sauce viper, pit viper, green pit viper and bamboo viper. So, vipers are categorized into two groups, pit viper and pitless viper. So, pit, it is a depression in between mouth and nostrils, eyes and nostrils. So, russell viper and sauce viper, they are pitless viper and green pit viper, bamboo viper, they are pit vipers. So, four venomous snakes, they are called as big four snakes, commonly found in India. They are common cobra, common crate, russell viper and sauce viper. So, big four, common cobra, common crate, russell viper and sauce viper. Russell viper is one of the most deadly land dwelling snakes on the earth. So, it is stouter. The most commonest poisonous snake is common crate. In India, commonest poisonous snake is common crate. The difference between poisonous and non-poisonous snakes is given. So, poisonous snakes, they are nocturnal in habit and have compressed tail, small small head scales, large belly scales and long canalized fangs. So, small head scales, there is an exception of cobra. Cobra is having large head scales and large belly scales. So, belly scales, they are covering entire breadth of the belly and in non-poisonous, they are covering in between. So, these are the features of poisonous snakes. The poison apparatus found in poisonous snakes is modified salivary gland, modified parotid gland. Cobra poison is neurotoxic, vipers are vasculotoxic or hemotoxic and sea snakes are myotoxic. So, cobra causes paralysis with convulsions and likelihood of dry bite is most common seen with cobra. So, cobra mainly the bite of cobra is dry bite. So, he bite but does not inject poison or venom. Lethal dose of snake venom. Lethal dose of cobra is 15 mg and banded crate is 10 mg. King cobra fatal dose is 12 mg and russell viper 40 mg. Common crate 6 mg fatal dose and swascal viper 8 mg. Fatal period cobra 30 minutes to 6 hours. So, fatal period from ranges from 30 minutes half hour to 6 hours and vipers 1 to 2 days. The, here, the characteristics of cobra and king cobra are given. So, cobra, it has a well marked hood which may bear on a dorsal side a double or single spectacle mark. So, there may be another variety called as monoslid cobra. It has having a round mark. So, spectacle, single or double spectacle mark is on dorsal surface of hood. Head scales are large, so this is exception. Mainly, the poisonous snakes are having small head scales, but the cobra is having large head scale and third labial touches the eye and the nasal seed. So, it is the characteristic feature of cobra. And there are two black spots and three black bands on the underside of the hood. King cobra has a hood, but no mark on it. Common crate and banded crate, they comes under elapids. Characteristics are, common crate has single or double white arches across the back, across the body and it has a central hexagonal scale row, central row of hexagonal scale. So, it is the characteristic feature of common crate, banded crate. Banded crate has alternate jet black and deep yellow bands across the back. So, alternate black and yellow bands on the 
body banded crate hexagonal scale is a constant key identification throughout the crate spaces so it is important identification of crate hexagonal scale wipers wipers have triangular head neck is constricted narrow neck and pupils are vertical and fangs are movable so canalized movable fangs are seen in wipers pit wipers are those which have a pit or deep depression on each side of head between the eye and the nostrils so pit it is mainly for the detection of prey so it is like a sensory organ Russell wiper and Schwarzschild wipers are pitless wiper so pitless wiper are more fatal than pit wiper Russell wiper it is also called as Daboya or chain wiper the head is triangular and have has a white v shape mark with its apex pointing forward so inverted v shape mark on the head there are three rows of black or brown spots along the back so called as chain wiper schwarzschild wiper has a triangular head bearing a white mark resembling a bird bird's footprint or an arrow so it is his name is ichis canineta so arrow like mark on the head and also it has wavy white line on each flank of the back with the diamond shaped areas between these two lines so upper curve two upper curves of each side in between them there is a diamond shaped mark so wavy lines on each side cholinesterase is rich in venom of cobra and cat crate so cobra crate is neurotoxic so cholinesterase is rich in cobra and cat hemolysins cytolysins thromboplastins are seen in viper venom so the viper venom is hemotoxic or vasculotoxic cardiotoxin found particularly in cobra venom neuroparalytic symptoms are the most characteristic feature of elapid snakes so cobra king cobra crate they show neuroparalytic symptoms and ptosis is one of the commonest and earliest manifestation of neuroparalytic snake bite so ptosis is a dropping of eyelids so it is a sign of paralysis muscle paralysis is caused by bite of sea snake also so sea snake is myotoxic causes muscular paralysis 20 minute whole blood clotting test 20 wbcd is a positive in bite of viperid species viper snakes a single breath counting test is done in suspected elapid bite so treatment of the snake bite is reassurance immobilization and pressure immobilization but pressure immobilization is recommended for elapid and sea snake bite not for viper bite so in viper it may cause local necrosis so it is not recommended for viper bite pressure immobilization ligature pressure of 50 to 70 mm of hg should be used to resist spread of poison so normal pressure ligature pressure is 50 to 70 mm of hg polyvalent anti snake venom is prepared by hyperimmunizing horses against the venom of four common poisonous species the recommended dose of asv is 8 to 10 vials it is given iv root over a period of 1 hour so initial dose is 8 to 10 vials each vial of polyvalent anti snake venom will neutralize about 6 to 8 mg of venom anti snake venom may cause type 3 hypersensitivity reactions so serum sensitivity it is type 3 hypersensitivity reaction atropine and neostigmine are used to prevent undesirable muscarinic effects of acetylcholine in elapid bite so muscarinic effect is neutralized by atropine and neostigmine scorpion scorpion there is a venom secreting glands present in telson so bulbous enlargement of the tail is called a telson and the venom secreting gland is located in that part two types of scorpion black scorpion and red scorpion are there black scorpion is mainly neurotoxic and red scorpion is cardiotoxic the venom is either hemolytic or neurotoxic 
hemolytic factors can mimic viper and snake bite neurotoxic factor can mimic strychnine poisoning and prazosin is used in scorpion bite for cardiac failure and pulmonary edema prazosin drug spider bite there are two main poisonous varieties black widow spider and brown recluse black widow spiders are mainly neurotoxic and brown recluse spider is cytotoxic black widow is also called as hourglass spider because it has a red hourglass spot on the dorsal surface of its shiny black body and black widow in black widow the female species it is larger and more vicious than male species brown recluse also called as violin spider because violin shaped mark on its brown colored back and the female is again more dangerous than male species cantharides called as spanish fly blister beetle or lita active principle is cantharidin and priapism swelling of genitals these are the common features so priapism it is erection of penis and swelling of genitals it is seen in cantharide poisoning so these are some important points of animal poison i hope so this video will be helpful for you we will meet in the next video thank you once again